in the second uh, notebook, we investigate the speckle noise and multi-looking technique. Speckle noise is the result of the uneven distribution of uh, small elementary scatterers. Uh, the complex uh, signal on Sentinel-1 uh, complex uh, sense can be as valid as not valid. It's valid when we have one or more uh, oil scattering points for a radar pixel and uh, their phase is distributed uh, even enough uh, inside a single radar pixel. But we can't uh, know how distributed it inside the pixel because we have just one value for every pixel and need to apply some mathematical processing to understand the phase uh, validity. In case when we don't have uh, any well scattering points uh, in a single Sentinel-1 radar pixel, the phase is random. The phase value doesn't have uh, any value and we need to find the way to exclude uh, the pixel from our analysis. For example, let's check this area. Uh, the small area includes uh, some well scattering rooftops, uh, one known uh, corner reflector marked by star here, and different scattering surfaces like to this and around. Uh, returning to the example notebook first, we see how the phase values looks uh, actually random. To have ability for special grouping and further analysis of this data, we need to find the way to produce uh, more accurate uh, distributed uh, phase values. Uh, for our case, uh, Gaussian filter is the best approach to remove uh, the speckle noise. Actually, it works as anti-aliasing filter in computer science. The notebook is very similar to the first one the same operations required here. Let's uh, go to the different part of the notebook. This is the section where we compare our results for just two pixels, as before. The second one is the known corner reflector, and the first one pixel is the close to it pixel with uh, high uh, cross correlation value but it's not so stable as the persistent uh, scatter pixel for corner reflector. Before we start the calculation for all the interferograms, uh, we calculate a set of single interferograms for different wavelength parameters. Wavelength uh, means uh, the Gaussian filter cut off frequency. Uh, the first uh, interferogram created without Gaussian filter and uh, it's the same as in the first notebook. The second for 15 meter Gaussian filter, where 15 meter is the azimuth resolution. The next is for Gaussian filter 30 meters and for 60 meters. This table compare the results for all the calculations. Uh, for the original values, we can find that uh, phase difference 
between two close uh, pixels are high, about uh, 0 0.53. For 15 meter filter, the phase difference is two times uh, smaller. For 30 meter filter, the difference is small, 0 0.08, three times less than previous. And for 60 meters filter, the difference is almost zero. So the closed pixels have the same phase. That's uh, not very accurate because we don't know if the pixels actually are equal. But uh, that's very simplify the analysis. About the correlation, correlation is uh, very similar for all the cases. Uh, now we use uh, all the interferograms calculation with the selected one selected wavelength cutoff frequency 60 meters for this case and see the result. We see well uh, correlated and uh, phase accurate patches on the full analyzed area and we can very easy recognize the patches. Uh, returning to the first lesson with the almost uh, random phase, it looks very different. Let's check from the first lesson and the second lesson using the Gaussian filter. As we see, that's much better result for the visual analysis and correlation is valuable now. So using the filter, Gaussian filter for anti-aliasing and speckle noise removal, we produce valid correlation and uh, valid phase values. We can compare how to look the small areas for the phase and correlation around the known corner reflector marked here. Uh, we see that the phase is much better than in the previous example. Let's compare first example and the second. Uh, so, this uh, phase and correlation grids can be analyzed. How about uh, multi-looking? Multi-looking is possible when we use the Gaussian filtering. See this map with multi-looking. Multi-looking is uh, just special averaging when we calculate the average value for all the pixels uh, in the patch uh, 30 meters in range and in azimuth. Returning to the first example notebook, uh, multi-looking result is useless because we have almost zero face value for all the area. Uh, let's pay attention for this right border, that's just a uh, border effect where the Sentinel-1 values, sin uh, values are so small that the face is not valid. Here we don't have so much uh, border effects and we have valuable face values after multi-looking. Let's compare original before multi-looking but filtered using Gaussian 60 meter and uh, additionally multi-looked using 30 meters uh, averaging window. Uh, multi-looking window should be uh, selected corresponding to the Gaussian cutoff frequency. For 60 meters 
at of frequency multi-looking photometers is the good choice. Uh, about correlation, we see it works and for well correlated areas uh, correlation values are high near to one and mostly for the most uh, pixels on the full area correlation is uh, close to zero and comparison uh, between Gaussian filtered phase and Gaussian filtered and multi-looking phase and the same for correlation actually there is no large difference between multi-looked correlations uh, in the next lesson we will check how to enhance the results